So if 2022 didn't turn out quite how you wanted it to, or going into 2023, maybe you're a brand new agent and you're just looking to get started with your real estate business. In this video, I'm going to give you a couple different tips and give you some explanation on why you should do the things that you should do in order to find a better year in 2023. If you're looking to find success in 2023, there's going to be some certain things you need to follow. Again, whether you're brand new or you just did a couple of deals, but you're looking to take that to the next level and do 10 deals, 20 deals, maybe 30 deals. You want to double your production, whatever it is you want to do, I'm going to give you the basics here, right? We're going right back to the very beginning. These are the things that I try to keep in mind for my own business every single year, every single day, and just basically put in the work, right? That's one of the big things that we're going to talk about here, but there's also some strategic ways to really go about this process. So with that being said, if you haven't watched my channel before, or if you already have, my name is Cody Steck. I'm the YouTube realtor. I talk about how to grow your real estate business using YouTube specifically, but also using other methods. I love to talk about all things real estate. So if you want to follow along on this journey and learn a little bit more about how to grow your business, make sure to subscribe and also make sure to check out those links in the description box down below. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into number one here. And that's to come up with a plan. Man, right? Obviously with 2023, just starting up here in the last you know little bit, there's been a lot of talk about goals and resolutions and all these things. And I think that a lot of people say, yeah, I did that. Or I have a goal this year to you know make $100,000 or whatever it might be, but they don't really actually follow through on that. They're not writing down their goals every day. They're not writing down what needs to happen to reach those goals. And unfortunately, there's just not a whole lot of planning around that. I think that you need to take your goal and say, okay, here's my main goal. I want to do this much business in this year. And you need to come up with a plan on how to do that, right? You need to make sure, hey, I'm contacting this many people per day, or I'm making this many YouTube videos, or I'm doing this many Instagram posts, or whatever it might be, you need to actually put into place some actionable steps in order to make that a reality. Too often, it's easy to say, okay, I want to do this much business, well, how do I get there, right? And so it's too easy to just go out there and just shoot from the hip and not really have a plan on how you're gonna get to your goal. So number one, make sure to come up with a plan. Number two is you need to figure out what your lead generation method is going to be. I made a video a couple of weeks ago talking about why I think that most realtors only need one lead generation method until they're making at least 300 to $500,000 in commission every single year. The thing about lead generation is that no matter what method you do, it's going to work. If you wanna do door knocking, it's going to work. If you want to do cold calling, it's going to work. If you want to only make TikToks and Instagram posts, it's going to work. If you get really good at it, you develop the skills that are necessary to find success with that. It will work. I promise you. That's why I've been able to find success with YouTube because I've kind of figured out exactly what people are looking for and how to create videos and give people the value that they actually want, right? I'm delivering all this value up front for free. And in return, they're giving me that reciprocity of saying, Hey, Cody, we want to work with you. Please help me. We're moving to your area or we already live in the area and we want to buy a house and it becomes an easy sell, right? So when it comes to going out there and figuring out how to generate your own real estate business, you need to be in a spot where you can figure out what type of lead generation you want to do. If you're watching this video, probably watching it on YouTube. And I think that YouTube is one of the best resources to go out there and create high quality content for free that is going to work for you around the clock and be able to provide real estate leads on a consistent basis. Obviously, I'm a bit biased about that from my name, from my channel, from the videos I make and from my own success, but it's truly because I think it's one of the best options out there. I see way too many agents who go out there and they're just kind of trying a little bit of everything. And in the beginning, that's okay, right? Because you need to get used to, or at least you need to find out what works for you, right? You need to go out there and maybe try door knocking, maybe try calling for sale by owners, maybe try Instagram, see what really sticks for you, see what you enjoy, see what comes naturally and easily, and also tap into your skill set, right? Take a look at what your skill set is and figure out how you can use that to your advantage. For me personally, I can sit here in front of a camera and talk real estate all day long. So that makes it extremely easy to actually make these types of videos, right? It's kind of like talking to friends, right? I consider anybody who watches my video as a friend and we're basically just, hey, talking shop here. So it gets kind of easy in that sense and that works into my skill set. I also like to show numbers on my screen. I'm a very analytical guy and that's also very easy on video. So tap into your skill set, figure out what you're good at and figure out what comes natural to you. In the very beginning, I actually, I remember that, you know, to this day, I was basically in a position where I said, okay, I'm going to try calling for sell by owners. I called three for sell by owners and they all went terrible. Of course I sucked. I didn't have any skills, but I basically just said, you know what? This is not what I want to do. This is not how I want to spend my life. Yes, I know that people get business from it, but this is not what I want to do in order to generate real estate business. So after three calls, I've never called another for sale by owner ever in my life. And that's just not a way I'm going to go out there and get business. Now, I know some people will say, oh yeah, it works. You know, you just got to put in the work and whatever. Uh, that's any lead generation method out there. So 
That being said, you know, I don't believe personally in doing something that you don't enjoy. And whether you want to do Facebook leads, whether you want to do YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, door knocking, cold calling, whatever it might be, just figure out something that works for you and then go all in on that one lead generation method. Or they actually get a couple clients and they put all their time and focus into working with those couple of clients and they forget to keep feeding the machine that brought them those clients in the first place. So when it comes to actually selling real estate, there's kind of two sides of it, right? You have the actual business where you're working in the business, you know, selling real estate, showing homes, writing contracts, et cetera. And then you have the marketing and the sales, which is where you're generating new business. You want to be operating on this side of the business as much as possible because the reality is you can outsource or leverage most of the stuff that's over here. Now, I know in the beginning, if you haven't done a ton of deals yet, you're probably thinking, hey, there's no way that that would be possible. And I will tell you that, yes, it is. You know, I've gotten to the point in my business where I could outsource everything on this side of it and be able to still make a very good, healthy income just doing the sales and marketing on the front end. So it is possible. It is something that you can find success with, but you have to get disciplined and implement your plan every single day, right? Get a plan and stick with it. You have to get disciplined. You have to be on a schedule and you have to start working towards that common goal and stay consistent with it with YouTube. I've posted to my Living in Salt Lake City channel every single week for over three years. I've never missed a week on that channel. And even right now I'm doing two, if not three videos per week on that channel. So that's pretty crazy to see that consistency, but it's what has allowed me to get to the point where I'm at because people see that consistency, they see the growth and they know that I'm gonna be there every single week to provide them with additional value on what's going on in the real estate world. The next thing I want to talk about, and this is actually kind of one of these, you know, special hacks in my opinion, is to get around other people who are doing what you want to do. If you want to be calling for sell by owners, you need to find the best for sell by owner caller in your office or in your market, and you need to go shadow him for a couple of days. You need to ask him what his scripts are, what he's doing, and just copy exactly what he's doing, and you will get better at it. If you want to be the best in the business, you need to get around other people who are operating at a very high level. For instance, if you want to do YouTube, you could come and watch my stuff. You could come and go and watch other people's stuff on YouTube and become a very good YouTuber from that, right? I've been learning and watching YouTube videos for three and a half years now to be able to build my own channel to the point where it's at now, where I've got you know high quality video, high quality audio. I've got help with editing and thumbnails and we're producing a lot of business from that. So it's going to take time and effort, but it's because in the very beginning, I got around other people who were doing what I wanted to do and then just took massive action, which leads me into that next thing I want to talk about, which is taking massive action. They might be thinking to themselves, hey, I need to make 100 phone calls every single day and I will find success. When in reality, they probably need to be making 300 or 400 phone calls every single day. They might also be thinking, hey, if I just make one video you know, every week or every other week, I'll probably find some success. But they don't realize that it's going to take much longer. And if you just did more videos in a condensed amount of time, you'd be able to grow that much quicker, right? If you're doing two or three videos in the beginning, you're going to find much quicker success. So go out there and take massive action. This is one of the most important things you have to do. If you think it's going to take this amount of time or this amount of effort, make sure to at least double, if not triple that, maybe even go 10 X like Grant Cardone says. I know there's lovers and haters of Grant Cardone, but that 10 X mindset really will set you apart and really will push you towards your dreams much quicker. I see a lot of agents who also go out there and they say, okay, I want to get one deal this month, right? And maybe that's not right, the right way to look at it. Maybe think about how can I get one deal this week, right? Because if you condense that down into one week, you're going to be able to get into a spot where you're thinking, okay, how do I do this in just seven days instead of 30 days? And then maybe even condense it down even further. How do I get a deal today? How could I find business for somebody looking to buy or sell real estate right now that I could help, right? And that might be through door knocking. It might be through open houses or something of the like. So you kind of have to look at this and just assess it, break it down, try to get it condensed into as little time as possible, and then really go out there and take massive action. So with that being said, I hope this was helpful for you. I want you to succeed in 2023. If you haven't already, check out those links in the description box below. You can schedule a call with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'd love to chat with you about your business and see how we can help you grow to the next level. There's no obligation or anything like that, but we would love to talk to you as well about joining us over here at Real Broker, where we can actually provide consistent one-on-one -on -one advice and help towards growing your YouTube channel, growing your social media, whatever it might be. We can actually help you get through that process a little bit better if you join us over here at the company. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching guys. Check out those links down below and we'll catch you in the next one.